Hello and welcome to Intertourism. We will be solving the best 2019 past questions paper 2 from 1 to question 60. Now, may I let you know that this basic past questions is filled up more with factorizations. About um, 70 to 80% of the questions are more of algebra and um, algebra questions. So, I will want you to stay tuned as we solve you through the whole question. Now, question 1 says, um, factorize xy plus 4x plus 2y plus 8. So, I'm going to represent the equation here. That's 4x plus 2y plus 8. Now, we're going to factorize this and we'll factorize this. So, um, what is common in between these two variables? We have um, x, it's common, into y plus 4. Then, here we have what's common in between here. 2, it's common. So, that would be, um, here will remain y. Then, 8 into 2, here it's going to give us um, 4. So, if you notice y plus 4 repeated twice so we're going to take our x plus 2 this x plus 2 then we're going to take our y plus 4 so this is our final answer so if you look at the option um, a is the correct answer now if you want to be sure of this one of the way you can do that is expand this this is going to give you if you choose to expand this you are going to get the um, x times y is xy, x times 4 is 4x, and 2 times y is 2y, 2 times 4 is going to give you, it, it takes you back to the equation. So that lets you know that the answer is correct. So we'll be going over to question 2, which says um, simplify this. So 2 and a half x divided by 5x over 8. So we're going to change 2 and a half x. Uh, two and a half to um, an improper fraction, which is going to give us um, five over two x divided by five x over eight. Now, because we have a divide sign there, we are going to invert um, our second equation, which is five x over eight, and change it to times. It will now be eight over five x. So the five x is going to come to five x. Two here is going to be one. Two into eight is going to give us four. So our final answer is four. So 4 is the correct answer, and we're going to select option B. That will take us to question 3. Okay. Now, question 3 says, um, simplify 1 over 2. Okay, 1 over 2, 4x plus 2 minus minus 2x. Okay, so this is going to be um, 1 over 2 into 4x plus 2 minus minus 2x. Now, you know in your sign notations, when you have minus minus, it's going to give you a plus. So this is going to be um, 1 over 2 into 4x plus 2. Um, okay, now, before we go forward to do that, I would want us to simplify this so that we don't get confused. Now, this is going to be um, 4x divided by 2. Um, it's going to give us, uh, okay, let's represent this like this, 2x. So, 4x divided by 2 is going to give us 2x. 2 divided by 2 is going to give us plus 1, 2. Then, this will be minus, minus 2x. So, now we'll now have 2x plus 1. We open the bracket and this will change to plus 2x. So, this is going to give us 2x plus 2x is 4x, then plus 1. So this is our final answer, 4x plus 1. So the correct option here is C. Okay, that will take us to the next question. Now, before I continue, I want you, if you've not hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you can get more other questions from us. So we'll be solving several of the questions, including 218, 217, 216. So hit the subscribe button so that you can get all these updates from us. Now, question 4 says, Simplify 6a plus 3b minus 3a minus 5b. The first thing we're going to do here is open the bracket. So this would be 3b. Minus times 3a will be minus 3a. Remember, minus times your minus is going to give us plus 5b. So always remember your sign notations. Now we're going to collect like terms. 6a minus 3a is going to give us a 3a. Then a 3b plus 5b is going to give us... Um, it's going to give us um, that 8b. So this is our final answer because you can't simplify this any longer. So the answer here is going to be um, a. So that will take us to question um, 5. Now question 5 says expand this. 
okay so we're going to expand the equation um, 2 into 4x plus 3 plus x plus 2 all squared okay so let's open the bracket 2 times 4x this will give us 8x 2 times 3 is going to give us 6 plus now this is going to be x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 so this would be 8x plus 6 now let's expand this bracket x times x is going to give us x squared x times 2x is going to give us 2x 2 times x is going to give us 2x now 2 times 2 is going to give us um, 4 so this is going to be 8x plus 6 plus x squared 2x plus 2x is going to give us 4x plus 4 now um let's now arrange them um i prefer you bring x squared first because the degree comes first the one with the highest coefficient x squared comes before x then before the constant so x squared is going to come first 8x plus 4x is going to give us um 12x then 6 plus 4 is going to give us um 10. so our final answer is x squared plus 12x plus 10 and the correct option here it's a so a is the correct answer so you can attempt it yourself too so uh, we're going over to the next question which is question six which says expand this so we're going to expand minus 3a minus 5x all in bracket and into minus 2b minus 4y so um, expanding this we're going to say minus 3a times minus 2b that will give us plus remember when minus times minus you get plus so we're going to write 6ab minus 3a times minus 4y that's the minus times minus so we we'll have plus 12ay minus 5x times minus 5 and 2b it's going to give us a um, plus 10xb then um Minus 5x times minus 4y is going to give us plus 20xy. Okay, so um, let's look which one has our correct option 6ab 12ay. I think I'm seeing c, um, I'm seeing bx. Yes, you can invert it and change it to um, xb plus 20xy. So the correct answer option here is going to be um, c. C is our correct option. Okay. So C is the correct answer. Note that you can say either you call it 10XB or you call it 10BX. So that's why C is our correct option. So that article is question 7 which says factorize um, 12X plus 15XY. Now to factorize this, okay, so 12X squared plus 15XY. You need to look for what can divide both sides. Now 12 and 15, they are all both multiples of um, 3. So 3 is common. So we're going to bring 3 outside. Now there's x squared here and there's xy. So x is common in both sides. So into the 12x squared divided by 3x, that's going to give us 4x. Because when you multiply 3x by 4x, you get back your 12x squared plus 15xy divided by 3x. It's going to be um, 15 into 3 first. It's going to give us 5x. We cancel x. So we're going to get 5y. So when you multiply 3x by 5y, you get back 15xy. So our final answer is 3x into 4x plus 4y. So our correct answer here is going to be a b. So b is the correct answer here. So that take us to question um, 8. Question 8 says factorize 7a cube, a cube b square minus 14a square b cube. Now, to solve this, we are still going to apply the same rule, what is common to both sides. Now, notice 7 and 14 are common factors of 7. So, we are going to bring out 7 outside. We have a cube and we have a square. So, a square is common. We have b square and we have b cube. So, b square is common. So, open the bracket. Now, when you do this divided by this, 7a cube b square divided by 7a square b square. Now, when you look at that, the only thing that will be remaining here will just be um, a minus. Then here we'll just have um, 14 divided by 7 is 2. a squared cancel a squared. Then we'll just have b left. So this is our final answer. And um, looking at our options, um, d is the correct answer. So we're going to circle d. Okay. So that.